So I come to this heathland around here and hopefully I should find the plant that I'm looking for. And one good thing with plants is, compared to animals, is that plants don't genuinely move. There are loads and loads of birds and adders around here and I've been looking on this small in the heathland for quite a while to find adders, but I simply can't find them. But yeah, the good thing with plants is, when you're looking for them, they don't move. So I'm pretty confident I should see and find the plant I'm looking for today. So somewhere around this general area here, our target plant species has been spotted somewhere. And now, just gotta, gotta find it somewhere. So far I've not, I've not seen one just yet. So I'm gonna go back down this bit, just where I've come, and then go back and do a full length of it again. See if I can try and spot it somewhere. So as I've just come back a bit, I've actually found some right here. And first impression is I didn't realize how small they were. So these little, I don't know if you can see it, these little red little plants just down here. Down here. And now that I've found one, I know exactly what I'm looking for, and as I'm looking around, around here, I kind of dotted around everywhere. Now, I've been looking around and I've found one which is a bit bigger than the rest that I've found. So hopefully, if I get a bit closer, you can see it right there. That is one of the UK's carnivorous plants. It's the sundew. And if you're a really small insect, such as any flies, ants, beetles, then this plant is your worst nightmare. Now, if you look really, really closely at this sundew, you can see it's got tiny little droplets of what looks like dew, moisture, on its leaves. But that's in fact sticky little droplets. And to any small insect, whether it be an ant, a small fly, beetles, these sticky little droplets here are irresistible. They're sweet and tasty. So when an insect crawls on to eat these sticky droplets, the plant detects that, detects the pressure of the animal on the leaf, and then it curls up, traps the insect, and then slowly digests the insect. Now, because the ground around here is pretty acidic and not that nutrient rich, the only way for these plants, these sun juice, to get additional nutrients is to obviously become carnivorous. So they've evolved this method to gain extra nutrients that they can't get from the ground. And I think it's pretty, pretty cool.